and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for Saturday the 10th going into Sunday the 11th of August 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend reading, I am using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. <clears throat> well, first of all, my friends, thank you um, so much for all of the <clears throat> wonderful um, get well wishes, uh, comments and emails um, alike. Um, for those of you that um, didn't see the message that I had pinned on the last reading, um, literally came down with a virus. So I just wasn't well at all. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now. OK. So without further ado, let's find out what message Spirit has for us for the weekend. Is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit for Saturday the 10th going into Sunday the 11th of August thank you 2019 thank you okay <coughs> Your first card, Major Arcana, number 18, Moon. Followed by Major Arcana, number 11, Justice. And finishing with the Nine of Water. Your first card is Major Arcana, number 18, Moon. Major Arcana speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. I am feeling, as the lady here is, is sprinkling moon dust on you, um, I, I'm really feeling that there's a realisation um, it's that there's been a veil of illusion um, and this veil is about to be lifted uh, for you to be able to see um, clearly um, to see the the truth of a matter the truth of a situation um, at the moment um, Something is, isn't as it really is, um, but over this weekend, my friends, um, you are going to be wiser um, on a situation. Um, and one and eight, adding up to nine, nine the number of completion. Um, so it's going to help you complete um, a cycle that you are in at the moment. Um, draw it to a close, I am hearing. Next you have another major arcana, so we are still talking about your major inner knowing. Number 11, Justice. And when I look at the number 11, I feel like the high priestess and the two pillars. Um, I feel that this is a gateway that you are about to go through. So um, I do feel you are leaving a cycle uh, to begin a new one. Um, and you are making adjustments here. Um, I feel justice um, asks you to balance out your mind. So um, I feel with this realisation... Um, something that is that you are going to become wiser about um 
I feel um, it's going to kind of um, upset your emotions. Um, and so I feel that justice has um, has turned up in this reading um, because you are going to be balancing your mind and your emotions out, um, how you are feeling and how you are thinking. Um, and justice, um, it's about fair outcomes um, and honesty. So I do, I said I feel that you are uh, going to, um, the truth of a matter is going to be revealed to you. Um, but I'm feeling that this is a fair outcome. Um, it's a situation that is actually going, I feel it's going to work out for you. Um, you are you are really going to be wiser for, the, for this revelation. Um, and it's an honesty I'm hearing. It's an honesty that you have been waiting to hear. And with this honesty, this truth, um, it's going to help you balance, balance out, I am hearing. And for others also, justice is, is legal matter. So um, if for some of you, this is a legal matter, a legal situation, um, I'm still hearing that there is a fair outcome to be had here. Um, but it's all this is all down to um, truth and honesty this weekend, my friends. Wow. And your final card of the tarot is number nine, nine of water, nine of cups. So nine, we definitely are um, completing a cycle. Um, and nine, it's also reaching an ideal and having your dreams coming true so um from this deep inner wisdom this revelation on this situation that is going to um that is coming from um a truth and an honesty um in the physical um it's going to remove any blocks and i really see you um all your dreams absolutely coming true. This mermaid has a, a, a treasure chest. It is full of um, gems. It's full of um, all of her, her little dreams here. Um, and I'm feeling this weekend, my friends, you're going to be removing a, um, a block that has been stopping you reaching this ideal. Stopping you even dreaming of your wishes coming true. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm having a nudge to read from the book for the Nine of Water. So I always follow my impulses. Dreams come true. Wishes fulfilled. Completion. Enjoyment contentment and achievement of desire okay well i think i covered all of that <laughs> i just had this impulse just to uh just to read okay so where are we going now let's go with the energy oracle by sandra ann taylor What is the message for my wonderful friends? Thank you. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'll just lower the camera. And the card you have is number 33, the door to romance so um i am feeling that there is a doorway here so um is it for some of you dreams coming true uh love on the horizon um 33 master builder number and three and three adding up to six so uh restoring balance and harmony to your life new beginnings in love 
whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more in love in the relationship you're in. This door with a heart opens onto a new beginning in your experience. A new love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong resonant connection. This may be a call from a past life or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom in a heartfelt affection. This relationship already exists in energetic potential, so when this card appears in your spread, make sure you are projecting the kind of self-loving energy that you want to receive from others. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open that door. Are you? Oh boy, are you ready? Oh, I'm having a Frankie Valley moment. <laughs> you ready now? <laughs> okay, Wisdom of Avalon, Colette Baron Reed. <clears throat> now I can't stop singing it. <laughs> wow. What is the message? For my wonderful friends, thank you. And you get the High Priestess, number two, discernment, prescience, prophecy and vision. And coming under, number 11, Justice, this oh, there's a real gateway here, my friends, for you this weekend to be stepping through. Uh, this gateway is really, really leading you to a place where your dreams can actually come true. Wow. Yeah. And I'm still hearing, Are you ready now? Are you ready now? <laughs> and I'm singing, so it must be good. <laughs> Intuition, prescient sight and higher knowledge, receptivity and the ability to work with subtle energies of spirit and the psychic power of the feminine. These are the aspects of the High Priestess of Avalon. When the High Priestess appears before you, she asks you to trust your intuition and to throw the net of your awareness out into the world around you pulling in truths that may defy your intellect, rational mind or what others wish to falsely or superficially portray. Go beyond the ordinary, past the chaos of modern life. Trust your inner vision to guide you on your path. Pay attention to your dreams and keep track of your intuitive hunches. For when the High Priestess appears, she asks you to look for the thread of truth in these places. Be discerning in all that you do at this time, for the High Priestess reminds you that not all is as it seems to be. Wow! However, don't take this world personally. Rise above it and ask for a true vision to see the path ahead, and you will be given this vision. All you need to do is ask the God, Goddess, and be open to receiving it. The High Priestess reminds you of the feminine principle of receptivity, gathering power by receiving information and waiting for others to act first. Allow the world to show you its intentions. The Goddess blesses and protects you when the High Priestess of Avalon appears on your path. Oh, wow. I hope you are holding your vision, my friends, your visions of having all of your dreams coming true, reaching a real ideal, stepping into your own personal power. Oh, wow. What an absolutely wonderfully powerful message for you this weekend, my friends. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds.
what is the message for my wonderful friends from spirit for saturday the 10th going into sunday and sunday the 11th i'm, I'm just feeling the 11th the gateway the doorway sunday my friends i am hearing a big day on sunday oh wow safely express your anger Use anger as a positive force and honour all of your emotions as sacred. Um, I'm hearing people pleasing. I feel some of you are people pleasing and this is the time this weekend, my friends, to start pleasing yourselves. Um, I'm hearing um, truth. Um, honesty. Uh, so I'm feeling that this is you. You are about to be um, you are about to uh, have something revealed to you. Um, you are being told it's OK. Express yourself. If if you need to be honest and truthful and that is going to affect other people, um, but it's better for you and moving you towards your your dreams, um, then it's safe for you to express your emotions. All of your emotions are sacred. They are moving you forward, um, moving you through this doorway. And if this isn't romance for some of you, um, I'm actually feeling that it is just unlocking your heart, unblocking your heart. Um, I do feel this weekend, my friends, opening your heart up to the divine, removing blocks from your path, expressing your emotions, knowing that they are all there um, to be used as your guidance, your sat-nav, your GPS system, um, always moving you forward to what you really seek. Um, and I'm also hearing the nine of water, it's um, emotional well-being. So I feel at the start of the weekend, um, a bit of emotional turbulence. Um, but I'm hearing by Sunday, you will be going um, through a doorway. Um, and the doorway, I'm really hearing strongly to you, my friends, um, coming now from... Um, your heart coming from honesty coming from truth uh, this whole reading here actually uh, comes to the trinity because this is mind body and spirit <laughs> all working together you being your authentic selves this weekend my friends wow 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 what a wonderful reading for me to come back to well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits and thank you again my friends for your warm kind um comforting and caring comments and emails um, i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and also um, I am definitely going to be changing internet provider um, I am not totally sure of the dates because you know what it's like with these companies you can't always pin them down so I may be without the internet between the 15th and the 21st um, I'll do my very best to upload um, as many videos as I possibly can um, and just that's the best I can do my friends well May favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend. And until Monday, my friends, goodbye.